getting rested? No. I could not sleep even if I wanted to. I literally got my laptop in the car, connected to my hotspot, trying to post the Jamaica vlog, and it's telling me two hours. Oh no. I got a report in an hour and a few minutes. I need to get out of here. But I wanted to introduce the vlog. Hi, I'm Annie Alexandra, and it's chaotic as right now. I didn't even get to wash my hair. It's in the freaking old lady bun. I didn't get no food. But if you think I'm lying, this thing says one hour and 43 minutes. Bruh. Can you see that? 143. Oh no. A few inches later. So I made it on board, I made it with time, and I'm by myself. So let me give you a little tour. Nice little pantry for the customers to help themselves whenever we're done with service. And then let me show you where I sit. I sit right over here. Beautiful seats. And that's the tour. I just made it to my room. I'm gonna give you a quick little room tour because I cannot wait to take off this freaking fun room tour. As soon as you walk in to the left, we have the closet. And this is like a weird one. First time I came to this hotel, I thought that was a connecting room, but no, it is the closet. And then you have a huge mirror here. To the left of that, you have a bathroom with a huge mirror here, shower, then a fridge here, a desk right over here, another mirror, and you have a huge bed, a weird seating couch, and then this little nook here where you could just either put your suitcase or just sit, enjoy the view. Let me, let me just, I'm gonna be a little lazy, I ain't gonna lie. But this is the view of downtown Sacramento. That is the room tour. I'm sorry if my energy is meh. Honestly, today has been an interesting day. Not that it was a terrible day, but nothing went according to my plans. I'm disappointed the fact that I wasn't able to upload my video in time. It's like so annoying because I really am trying to be fucking... Look how I have my scarf. I never wear my scarf like this. But it was so hot when I got on the aircraft that I ended up taking off my scarf. Obviously, before we started boarding, I had to put my scarf on. But it was still too hot that I ended up putting it like this. And I totally forgot to fix it. Anyways, I just wanted to come in and talk to you guys. It was a completely full flight. The flight was supposed to be 5 hours and 52 minutes. No, 5 hours and 22 minutes. It ended up being six hours and 12 minutes. Oh my God, corny. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all the time. It's 10.52 p.m. August 17th. New York is almost two in the morning over there. So I'm feeling that, that tiredness a little bit. Despite my whole situation with the video, I ended up getting a Amazon gift card from the credit card company that works with us. They also gave me a burrito, which is great because I did not bring any food in my lunch bag. Like, let me do a quick little what's in my lunch bag. First, let me fix this here. <laughs> What's in my travel pro lunch bag? This is the mini, by the way. My book, the case that I carry my camera in, my iPad, my sunscreen, Paula's Choice, my room spray. You need this. As you saw, our seats are by the bathroom. We eat next to the bathroom. Ooh. I got some chomp sticks. These come in handy. Some cinnamon flavored all toys. And these are the oils that I've been using rather than perfume. This one I got from Urban Outfitters. And then this one I got from, I'm going to call it a botanica because I don't know how what else you can call that. But I get so many freaking compliments. So many. And I'm like, 
forget perfume i'm using body oil this is the charger that i bought for my camera batteries and it comes in these individually packed battery cases it's so cute sometimes i do get some type of migraines so i'll carry my excedrin then i have lysol mini one band-aid a handful of ricolas I also have this Jo Malone. This is my favorite one from Jo Malone. This is a sample. Wood, sage, and sea salt. Oh, I got my little fan from Amazon. And the best part, a little mirror. And you can set it up. On the other compartment, I have one of our old headphone cases with a whole bunch of Ricolas in there. If you're interested in the flavor of Ricola, it is the Honey Lemon. That's it, Honey Lemon. More Band-Aids, tissue, scrunchie. That's all that's in there. On the top, I don't even know if this is gonna be included in the vlog. Then I have emergency little pack here. I have eye mask. Cause some of these rooms sometimes like this, I remember from the last time I was here, they seep out a little bit of light and I'm a black out girl, okay? I need everything to be pitch black. And I have some ear plugins and I have a toothbrush just in case. I got a fork. I got my contacts, random jewelry, whenever I wanna wear some silver. I got some pads, cause you never know. And then I have some stirrers for coffee. Oh, and one cozy chamomile tea which I'm gonna throw out because I feel like this is really old. That's what's in my bag. That's it. I don't know how this went into um, room tour into this. I've been talking to you guys for how long? I'm still trying to figure this out. Imagine I'm not even recording. That would be tragic. But anyways, I'm gonna put all this crap away because yeah. Oh my God, I can't get over this wig. Look at this. This is how y'all looking right now. This is how y'all looking. You see this? Do you see this hair? It does not want to stay with the rest of it. Oh, now you want to cooperate. Man, listen. I'll pick you guys up if there's anything else that I want to talk about. But I think I got it all out. The next day. Am I the only one who thinks the lyrics was Been way this since money I've been singing it wrong this whole time Anyways, good morning I'm up, it's 11.42 I really don't know what I'm gonna get into today While I was brushing my teeth, I just decided this That I think I'm gonna get Subways I know, so many options and I'm choosing Subways But I'm craving a spicy Italian sandwich With the Italian urban cheese bread Toasted Mayo, lettuce, onion, pickle Black pepper, jalapeno What should I order? I wanna know, I'm curious If you even eat Subways I know people are like, no that's fake meat we eat all the fake shit in the States. I'm sorry. You had to choose your battles wisely. Come on, put them up. I'm back in the room and I'm gonna go to the pool because I checked it out. There's no one there. Let's praise the same. So I got my bathing suit underneath. You feel me? I didn't feel like wearing like 
I don't want to show a lot. I feel so bloated because my period is coming one of these days, either tonight, tomorrow. It's coming though. So I'm gonna finish my, well, I'm gonna take my book so we can read it at the pool. And I want to talk about something real quick though. Because I tried, as you saw from a few clips, I tried to like sit down and enjoy my meal. And I don't know what it is about California. Like, be aware of your surroundings all the time. This job has taught me things I never was aware of before because I'm one of those people that I'm just like, when I'm on a mission, I only see that mission. I'm not paying attention to anything else. But now, I'm catching everything, right? So anyways, sitting down eating, I see this guy. He's walking this way. And then what happens? He sees me, he sees me by myself, chilling, minding my business. He doesn't know that I'm watching him. He makes a U-turn, comes back, crosses the street towards me. So I get up and I start walking towards him like, what are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do here? But yeah, like I made eye contact with him because I'm like, I see you and you see me, but we're not gonna do this right now. Like we're not doing that. I just wanted to say that because for some reason in California, the zombies be zombieing. Okay, like let me tell you about the situation in San Jose. I had my nice little routine. I went to my burritos breakfast spot, rented the bike, went to Whole Foods, came back, had my blanket to have a picnic at the park, mind my business, read my book, get to the park, and I'm just recording on my phone like a clip. And as I'm recording that clip, I feel something. I sense something to tell me to turn around. I turn around, there's a zombie coming straight towards me. Like, oh my God. That shit scared me. Anyways, coming straight towards me. Luckily I had the bike and I was able to zoom onto that bike and go somewhere else, right? But further into the park. And as I'm going further into the park, more zombies are coming from different angles. And then the guy, he knows the park, he lives there. So he knows where I'm going and there's no way out. So I'm like, oh my gosh. Anyways, nothing happened, obviously. I'm here, we're here. But all of that to say is just be aware of your surroundings at all times. You just never know. And look at that, in the States. Not in the country, in the States. I'm gonna leave that there. Give me your love for money. Your call is very important to us. Please wait for the next available. Good evening, my name is Grant. How may I assist you? Hi, I'm calling to let you guys know that our flight got delayed. All right, guys, as you heard, we are delayed and I'm back in the room. I'm not feeling my 100% best, but my book is getting so good. I'm almost done with it. I have a few chapters left and that book is freaking nuts. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I kind of don't like to read it before I'm gonna go to bed because it's like a scary movie, too, but not really a scary movie, you know what I mean? It's one of those like books where i don't even know how i feel like it's good i'm gonna take a nap hopefully i feel better i don't want to say what i got think about it and i've been watching painkillers too that show on netflix and i don't want to take any painkillers because that show really messed me up after i showed that a whole bottle of excedrin yesterday anyways i'm gonna go take a nap before it gets later i'm so happy we got delayed i'm not gonna lie to you because i could sleep in a little bit longer so our report now is 11 12 p.m much 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 later hey guys so update it is now 12 32 p.m saturday august 19th and i am still in sacramento california what happened you ask basically the same thing that always happens a domino effect from the earlier flights leading to our flight being delayed five hours i'm not complaining because this time i was in the hotel so it's always a plus try to find the positive and every situation because if you dwell on the bigger issue it's just not gonna be fun for you so i try to just think about the, the plus on this plus is that i was in a comfortable room minding my own business had a clean bathroom you know i didn't have uniform and pantyhose for more than 10 hours you know what i mean like life could be so much worse anyways our flight doesn't take off until 2 25 a.m we won't get to new york until 10 30 in the morning which sucks because I really wanted to get home earlier. But that's just like a friendly reminder to my new flight attendants, girls and guys, to always just 
don't make plans or at least plans that have a time frame because expect the unexpected delays are is a normal thing unfortunately we try to avoid them but it's not awful okay that's above my pay grade so i can't tell you what to do with your time i could just give you advice on what i know anyways although we have more time in the room to rest and all that ask me if i slept no I wish I could, but I have so many things on my mind and it's like not even bad stuff, just like ideas for videos, honestly. And I felt compelled to get up and write these things down before I forget my ideas, but I didn't. I just tried to force myself to sleep and that still didn't even happen. Anyways, I'm rambling. I feel like this is a really chatty video. So if you enjoyed me talking a lot, this is right up your alley. Although it was a weird day yesterday, everything that happened leading to like my whole video fiasco was because of me. Like it had nothing to do with the Wi-Fi at work. Like I was really tripping and trying to sell myself this dream of it's not my fault. It's completely my fault. I was doing what I normally do, which is procrastinate on editing my video so that just taught me you need to get your shit together because if you really want to do this you gotta commit stop giving into the temptation of like i'll do it tomorrow because you think you have time time is not promise girl i'm talking to myself but if you could resonate like be consistent keep those, those promises you make to yourself anyways i gotta go